Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about how to hire truck driver for OTR. So let's just break down the term OTR. What does that even really mean? OTR stands for over the road. So drivers that are over the road for an extended period of time. It is a terminology that is more so used in the US than in Canada, because in Canada, most of the hauls that you see are like our OTR, and they are so-called long haul, for the most part. OTR is not a big word that you'll hear in Canada, but it's a big word in US. So I'm gonna break all the things down for you. Now, OTR, is a different kind of runs that you're doing. Usually what you see is OTR drivers are for um, like specialized kind of freight, not in all cases, but in most cases. Uh, most bigger trucking companies that have OTR divisions are doing some kind of specialized haul, uh, whether that is like um, hauling a oversized, over-dimensional load across the country, whether it could be parts of like windmill or wind turbine, I've seen also that for some of the trekking companies. There's another trekking company uh, that we exclusively work with in South Dakota, and they do pneumatic bulk. So they're doing asphalt, um, fly ash, soda. Uh, there's so many things that they haul, and they have pneumatic bulk tankers, and the kind of drivers they employ for the most part is also OTR, where they're sending this specialized product over down to Panhandle region from Midwest, or going all the way to Canada, up in the Rockies, down, and all the places basically, all over, the, all over North America. And it's harder to find OTR guys, and we all know that. And I'm going to tell you how you can find OTR guys uh, more smoothly, better, and faster. But the important elements that I wanna share, like why is it hard to find OTR guys? The thing is, OTR is not something that every driver prefers. Most drivers like to be home or be out for a little bit of time. Um, I'm not stereotyping all the drivers, but a lot of them you will see like they would like to have some kind of consistency on their schedule. Uh, when are they gonna be home? When, how long can they be out for? All that kind of stuff. And the way the pyramid of finding drivers goes is like the, the easiest usually you will see is like local home daily guys. And then it will go into slip seating where drivers are changing trucks with another another driver and a lot of drivers don't prefer that because truck is their personal basically their home on wheels right so they like their own truck they like how it's placed they don't like other guy jumping in so it's harder to find guys with slip seating then you come into regional regional they could be out from monday to friday and so on and so forth there could be different kind of schedule but their home is usually for two days so 36 hours 48 hours what depending on what trucking company they are with now with OTR guys, uh, OTR driving positions, it could be all over the place. You know, some trucking companies keep their drivers out for seven to eight weeks, some keep them out for three to four weeks, some keep them out for two to three weeks. It really depends what the trucking operation runs like. But you as a trucking business, I wanna show you what are the key things that you should look for when you're wanting to hire OTR guys and what's gonna make the process of finding OTR guys smoother. So tip number one, you wanna make sure that your OTR pay is competitive because most big trucking businesses have very competitive OTR pay for the most part. I'm not saying all of them, but a lot of them. And you wanna make sure that you are able to compete with it because the drivers that are already doing OTR are not going to come to you if they can find similar, better pay at a well-known established trucking business with more perks, more benefits, and stuff like that. Your pay needs to be competitive because if your OTR pay is almost the same as a regional pay for them uh, at another trucking business for a truck driver, they're not going to come to you. And that's the biggest challenge that a lot of smaller trucking company when you're just starting out and you're just picking whatever loads comes your way and makes sense and your drivers quit or you can't find an OTR guy but you got these lanes, that's the biggest challenge you're gonna run into. You have to have a good high paying freight because if you do not have a good high paying OTR lane for yourself,
you're not going to be able to attract good drivers that are going to stay with your trucking business for a long period of time. Tip number two, you need to have more consistency in kind of home time of the driver too. Even a rough outlook on like what it looks like gives more confidence to a driver that what they can expect and some kind of similarity in the lanes. You know, that puts a lot more trust into the driver, what that person is getting into, uh, where can that person expect to run, the lanes that they could be expecting, right? And letting them know about the kind of freight you will be hauling, whether that's overdimensional, flatbed, uh, how, what, what is the company like, the customers are like, you know, letting them know that our customers are great, they're reliable, they don't make you wait for hours on end. I know you'll be out for a while, not like a traditional driver. I, will, I can tell you that these customers that we work with are great customers. Saying those things to a driver helps a lot when you're bringing or trying to attract OTR guys and bring them on board. They are very hard to find drivers, so you want to make sure every single thing that you pitch to them is properly framed right and you've done your homework you know like don't lie to anyone but just make sure that you're running a good operations you've done your homework because just having a good paying freight is not is not going to do much because if you can't find a guy to haul it it's just waste of time right it's not going to serve you anything so there is no high paying freight uh, if you don't have a driver to pull it tip number three that i can give you is make sure that when you're looking for drivers for OTR positions, you find clients in different areas of the country. If you can expand your hiring regions, that will just open a new market of drivers for you. And this is one of the most, I think, um, strategic tips that I can give you. What you will see is, let's say, if you are a trucking business in Chicago, and you're trying to look for a driver in Chicago, to run an OTR lane all the way to West Coast, down to Texas, back to Chicago. You can basically hire guys in West Coast and in Texas if you have consistent OTR work between those three points. So that opens three driver markets that you can hire drivers from. And I understand some trucking companies are scared to hire drivers from a different state, a different place where they can't understand or they're just not confident about it, but that's okay. Most bigger trucking companies have a big hiring region. That's why they're able to grow that much. Uh, and you wanna replicate the same thing. Now it may differ from Canada to US what you can do because in Canada, you may start at one point and come back to the same point again. Uh, but in US, you'll have a lot more flexibility. But if you're in Canada, try to work more lanes with your customers and see what else OTR freight they can offer you. It will be a game changer because the more areas you can look drivers from, the higher your probability of finding OTR drivers get. You're just tapping into a bigger pool of drivers. So amazing, amazing tactic. Tip number four. The tip number four is make sure you do your homework. Uh, and I kind of repeated that in like, uh, I'm kind of taking it from tip number one, but this is one of the most important uh, tip of finding the right OTR guys. Do your research, find out what other people who are running similar kind of lanes are offering. You know, that's the most important thing because it's very easy for a driver to find out what you're offering and what that person is offering. If you haven't done the homework, it's not going to really help you much. You know, they're gonna get scooped away to the other trucking place. Even if you find the lane, there could be somebody who could be offering the similar lane. And I found that a lot of trucking businesses who run OTR have a hard time finding drivers and keeping them. And that's because the wage is incompetitive and somebody else was offering better and they just moved on to a different opportunity. It kind of relates to the tip number one, but you need to exclusively phone maybe other trucking businesses and ask them, hey, what are you paying? You know, they may not tell you, maybe you might have to ask one of your drivers to call. I'm not saying go and lie, but I'm saying do your research and find out what others are offering in the area. Tip number five, what you can use to find OTR guys is use online advertising. And just simply put a video out of yourself, just like me talking to you and telling drivers that what kind of driver you're looking for. You know, just go out and put, in, put a little video out on your Facebook page or whatever it may be and put a video out 
and say exactly exclusively who you're after and who you're looking for and explain about your region, the pay that you're running and all that kind of stuff. Being honest and upfront will get you more drivers uh, than anything, you know. Holding, not holding back any info is the key to finding the right drivers. Bringing the ones that actually want this and repelling the ones that are not the right match for the situation. The best advice that I can give you is go online and then just put a low video of yourself and run a little bit of traffic to it on Facebook and easily for five, ten dollars a day you can get that video put to like wherever. If you're in Chicago, you can have it show to the drivers in Chicago. It's super simple, it's super easy, but the key element here is being honest and telling them exactly what they're getting into and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully all these tips are gonna help you find OTR drivers. If you want me to explain in detail what exact things and copies and uh, messages and the things you should be saying to these guys, then register for my free webinar that I'm doing this week. The link is below where I will show you how to find qualified drivers for your trucking business without using job sites, job boards, recruitment agencies, or marketing agencies uh, with this simple one tweak in your recruitment effort. So I'm doing that. The link is below in this, beneath the description, and you can join the webinar and sign up for free. It is absolutely free. You can learn tons. So many trucking businesses have gone to it and learned a lot. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and put in the comments, what would you like to know more? If there's something that you wanted to know more, I will make sure that I give you an answer or I make a video on it in, in our next video. So make sure you do that and do not forget to hit the notification bell so every good video that I release, it's come to you, it comes to you right to your inbox. And this is Amrit signing off and I'll see you next week.